I'm going to show you some how to fix something that happens often on macOS when you have an application that is uh, listening on a port and you try to run another application that listens on the same network port then you may see um, an error similar to this one basically it says that um, so in my case it's port um, 3000 so I basically say that there is already an application listening on port 3000 so um, this uh, rail server is failing. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So what you need to do is find what process is used in this port. What happens often is that the same application crash. So it keeps, so even if it seems to be uh, stopped, you still see the port, um, the OS still sees the network port being used. So what you have to do is um, use this command, let's start. And then you say minus ADTN. Um, so that's going to give you a lot of output. Um, but what you need to do is um, grab for the port affected. So in my case, it's uh, 3000. 3, so if I grab to that, um, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to also add, um, I'm going to use egrep. So I'm going to match proto or 3000 so that's going to give me this um, header so, so the line so basically this says that uh, there is this um, this part is being used is in uh, listening and this is the process id uh, um, in charge but this is the process id that is used in this port so once you find the process ID that is using the port, you can uh, kill that process. So the command is kill and then the process ID. Um, so in this case, 4131, 4131. Um, so you kill that, you see um, that it was uh, terminated. If this doesn't work, sometimes the application may crash in a hard way, so you have to use minus nine, something like that. Uh, try to go without a minus nine to work because that's a uh, little bit aggressive. So try without the minus nine. If that doesn't work, uh, doesn't work, then use the minus nine. So how you can how you can tell if it works? So in this case, I have, I have an output, but sometimes you may not have an output. So what you do is you run the same command. And it should be empty. Uh, in this case, this is only the header, but there is no uh, application listening on that on that port. Um, so now I should be able to start my Rails server. There you go.